Hello, this is Nick of Craft and Knickknacks. Welcome to my channel. So today, I want to share with you how I did my month of April, my monthly pages. I'm doing this video again or doing another monthly video because the way I'm planning this month is different from the way I've planned the past three, four, five months. And I wanted to share how I'm doing it this month. Just as a quick preview of how I did it last month. So this is how I've been doing my monthly pages for the past months. I have a cover page, which is usually the cover pages on this part when you look at some bullet journals. But I do it spread type. So I have the cover art here. And then my highlights of the month across it. And then next is a spread of the calendar with my monthly goals and to-dos and things to remember. And then next spread is my tracker. So I follow this format of the trackers, which I find really, really helpful in finding out um, sequences of when I did a habit. Or it actually also helps me. It actually encourages me. To use my trackers more or to not to use the trackers but more of do a certain thing to be able to form a habit because i enjoy coloring the boxes and then another tracker is this way for my finances you will notice this is almost blank i did not color anything i did not write anything down so for and that's the last of my monthly pages so for april i actually did away with the monthly highlights and this tracker spread. The reason is one, I mostly do not update my my monthly highlights or my hi highlights of the month. I rarely, rarely update this until I get to the end of the month. So it's kind, of, and then I kind of forget most of the things that happened already. So I rarely write anything really you know really good or i don't know it just doesn't work for me or the intention of having it of me putting things down there when it when they happen is not working out and then for this one for, um in my head i color them but i forget to actually color them in like in my head once i do it there's like this virtual ticking of the box or coloring the box and i get excited that i get to color it but most of the time i really forget to color it and then forget which days i did it like for example some of these things do not happen on a daily basis and i forget and then it's just okay i do not know now before what i did to combat that was to bring all my mild liners with me because i have different mild liners assigned and then i didn't want to bring all of my mild liners because before i was just assigning random colors now I assigned specific colors for them and this was how I did it for February and March but it's just that I'm not coloring them in I keep forgetting I keep putting them off until I reach the end of the month and I realize I did not color any of them same goes with my financial tracker actually this one gets updated more often in the previous months but again it also happens that I do not crack it and then what I do so I don't forget is I track it on a daily basis. So it kind of just doubles the effort. So I figured, okay, I'll let this go. Just track it on a daily basis and just be more diligent in tracking it in this app that I'm using. I'm actually using an app to manage my finances or to track my expenses. And I'll just use that app more diligently than putting them on paper. So there, so I did away with these two so i went on with my april having a cover page on the left side so for april i opted to have a purple theme for my monthly pages because it's my daughter's birth month she's turning one this april so i've looked for a stamp that i feel like resembles her so i got a lot of girl stamps that i think is her when I was pregnant so I got this really really cute stamp 
so this is her and it's purple I colored it using watercolor Pimo marketing watercolor and I actually used two or three sets to get the different shades of purple but anyway even the lettering is done using watercolor and this one fountain pen so this is just a calendar and then I realized because I wanted to watercolor right so I used VersaFine ink for this so that the, the ink pad won't bleed when I apply water on it watercolor but the effect is this one it bled through the other side when it got wet so I didn't want to use this side anymore and I'm still content so I left this blank because I needed the spread for the calendar and I don't know what to put here I was thinking of doing highlights of the month I'm still contemplating if I'm gonna use it or just you know leave this blank and when I need when there's a need for a spare page just come back to it and then next is my calendar page which is actually just the calendar I used the birthday theme here still I did not color in the gifts and the balloons and all those birthday doodles because I wanted it to be more simple than what I normally do well what I normally do is fairly simple you usually just use stickers um, but I wanted to make it simple but at the same time I wanted to get that creative juice flowing again because I've had this I've been in a funk ever since end of February. If you noticed, I uploaded videos sparingly, posted sparingly because I was going through something I myself do not even know what it is. It's just that I hit this slump and everything's just happening so fast. Everything's, you know, it just feels like I'm chasing a lot of things and I didn't put putting things out in social media as a priority. I mostly took care of myself and my family. And anyway, the goal for me this year is actually not to focus on myself, but on my family. So on that aspect, on the other aspects of my goals, which is here, actually. All the major goals that I have for the year, I'm still on track, which is really, really good. I'm using my bullet journal to help me track and to help me get focused. Most of my to-dos are on this one, on building the habits in order for me to fulfill my goals for the year. And I am on track on that but on the flip side what happened was my social media had to suffer for a, a little a lot because I wanted to make sure that whatever remaining energy that I have gets focused on my goals so this is me now trying to get back into the loop trying to get back into <clears throat> doing this social media thing so here I am discussing new ways on how to do my monthlies let's go back to that page so there so that is my new monthly and I also have a new weekly layout so if you'll notice I skipped my other page of my dashboard I'm still keeping this dashboard because it's really helpful the other dashboard here one was for my prayers and the other half was for my social media since I wasn't doing any social media a lot of social media I decided to scrap this page and then this page I do not have time a lot of time to journal so I just I don't list them down anymore I just pray and then I have this other habit that I'm doing which is my good morning God which now turned into good evening God which is like letters that I write to God so I just put them all there and not have this list of things to pray for and just put them in that journal but I still need to keep this dashboard where I plan my week because I find that during weekends, I do not really use my bullet journal. I use this page to just keep track of things that I still need to do. And it's been really, really helpful. And I changed how I'm using it. Let me show you a quick one of how I use it before. So how I've been using it before was this box here i use for my to do's and then i put the sticker here and then make a space for events that are happening that day and then i have my to do my actual to do that's th that does not land on a specific day here and then notes and then things that i want to track usually 
notes and track. I just use them interchangeably. I just wanted to use all the stickers. The to do here is more of things that I want to do on a specific day. So this rarely gets filled out because since this is my personal bullet journal, personal planner, not work related, a lot of the things do not need to get done on a specific day. They can they tend to be more fluid. I can do them any other day of the week. So I don't I rarely use this and the space is too small to actually write anything. I like my pens to have thick lines. So it's actually really small. So I figured I need a better way to use the stickers and make it work for me. So what I've been doing the past two weeks, past three weeks actually, was to change them up. I use this to track my dailies. Remember that I, I stopped doing my monthly trackers. So I'm, I'm tracking my habits on a weekly basis again, which was what I was doing two years ago. I track them on a weekly basis now again and I just use abbreviations or three four letter words to describe what those are and I know personally I know them because this is my journal like GEG -E is good evening God which is my letters to God Devo is my daily devotionals kids is writing on my on the journals that I have for my kids and skin is my skincare so any semblance of skincare, I just put an X because I am in that place right now where I can't do all those 10 steps. I just need something quick. So as long, and I don't do it twice a day because I don't have time for twice a day skincare right now. So as long as I did any form of skincare for that day, I'm good. I put an X on it. So this is how it works now. And then my today, this one actually is now for both for events and things that I need to get done on a specific day so they get more information here I get more I get to write more stuff on the pages and then my to-do list is now labeled an actual to-do my notes is still to do and then goals here is just a continuation of to-do this was last week for this week I thought of changing it up again and still this part is still the same but what I did was I said I put in goals this could be weekly goals monthly goals that I want to work on this week or you know just random goals that I think of for myself and so I put them as goals so that the label is actually apt and I put more space for my to do put it in the middle I put goals on top because I want my eyes usually gravitate toward this area first so I wanted my goals out there so it's a reminder every time I flip to this page that I have these goals that I need to work on this week. Then my list of to-dos here, because whether I like it or not, whenever I write the day, I actually look at my to-dos. That's why it's okay whenever wherever I put them in, I will always look for it. So it's there. And then notes, since it's not something that I need to look at every time, they're at the bottom part of the page and then I am now again writing on this part here it's not just for decoration this week I put in something to motivate me I won't let difficult stop me yes I can so this is how I'm doing it right now and I really feel good about how this looks like right now and I might be moving back to my old dashboard in a few weeks and maybe next month when I get out of this funk that I'm in and I get to incorporate both my social media and my prayer and my bullet journal again but for now they are on their own designated planners I don't want them to clutter up my brain I don't want to see them here right now I want them compartmentalized and it's fine that's the beauty of bullet journaling you get to you know do a lot of things change things up and it doesn't mess up with how it looks like so there, I hope you've learned something new today or you find something uh, that you like or I don't know, help you with what you're thinking if you're also in this planner funk slump or even not just the planner creative wise or just in life in general. I hope this makes you feel like you're not alone. It does happen to everyone and it does really, you know, it takes a lot of effort to get out of these slumps and do whatever you can and 
Hit me up on social media if you want to talk. I am available at Facebook and Instagram at Captain Knickknacks. I recently just reactivated my Twitter, but it's my personal account. So, but I'm not that active yet. I just mostly reading news. But you can also hit me up there. It's at Knickknacks on Twitter. And leave a comment down below if you want, if you know, if you agree with whatever I'm saying and don't agree, or if you want me to specifically tackle things. Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think, what you want to know, what you want to hear about. And I'll do my best to get those videos done for you. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye.